Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Desolation. And me, the sober me. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? I'm really sorry about yesterday. I feel bad doing it, you know? So I'm gonna try my darndest to make sure it doesn't happen again. I mean, accidents happen. I, uh, I made sure that I had everything done for the day. I just kind of messed up. <laughs> Just kind of messed up. I thought that um, I thought I thought that yesterday was the day before still, and it was just a long day. Okay, I, I had bad sleep. Couldn't I couldn't I have I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping recently. I've uh, I had a great night's sleep last night. Let me tell you, uh, <laughs> I've had a lot of trouble sleeping recently outside of last night again. Um. And then just a lot of like stuff happening. I've talked about the anxieties and the stress and all that kind of stuff. It all kind of built up, and I kind of, I kind of wanted a day off from it all, a day to just kind of chill out. And it just, I forgot to get my responsibilities done first, and and that kind of uh, suffered the consequence of it. And then so did you, as my viewer, and I apologize for that. But uh, it'll probably happen again. Just, uh, it's just just the way it goes. I don't like use cannabis often in the first place. Like I don't have any THC left. Like I said, that was the last of uh, of of what I had. I still have CBD, but I can I can take some CBD and then record just fine. Yeah, I don't you don't get high on on like you know 20 milligrams of CBD or something, right? Like you're not you're not high off of that. You you feel relaxed, pleasant. But there's, there's no high that comes with it. It's more uh, it's it's more akin to like uh, antidepressants than uh, than alcohol. Whereas THC is kind of like both, but different. Um, anyway, do I have a Terraria update for you? Nah. Well, kind of, yeah. I killed um, all three of the mechanical bosses today. Fishron, Plantera, and the Golem. It was a very eventful day for me. I had a first solar eclipse as well. No Mothrons, though no Mothrons. But a uh, very eventful day. It was all pretty easy, honestly. <laughs> it was all pretty easy. Master Mode thus far has... Mm, I'm gonna. It, it's kind of been a disappointment. Um, the early game was brutal, like just insanely brutal. Uh, and then, like the rest of it, after after the early game, after I got like a weapon that I could use to actually go exploring a little bit and a little bit of mobility, and you know, after after all that kind of initial. You know, you're in a world and everything's trying to kill you. Oh my god, how do you do this? Kind of a, a initial jump reaction kind of thing. Um, so it's a, oh my god. Uh, you know, now now I had mobility. Now I had damage. I had armor. Um, you know, you get your fishing set up and you get your farm set up for the herbs. And now you have all the potions and you have all the, the weapons and... And everything, and it's just like, yeah, it's it's easy. Even even with master mode, all the extra damage and the health that everything has, and the damage reduction that they have, it's just it's just it's kind of easy. So I I farmed up a little bit, uh, and I hadn't played in uh, like since 1.36 or something like that. Um, it's been it's been a long time, so I died a lot just just like relearning mechanics and kind of getting used to how stuff works and and learning how to redodge stuff and and kind of like re you know learning everything. And then I'm also just a pretty like I don't know relaxed player when I'm playing usually anyway. So even even in like classic, I'm I'm dying a lot. Like I have a classic world. Uh, I make classic worlds for farming some materials so I wanted uh, I needed pearl sand 
which I, I could go like find some in my world but my my hallow generated in, in the corruption biome so there was no real sand there so I just made a new world in uh, in classic killed the wall of Fa flash the hallow spawned in a, de in a desert this time so I just mined up some uh, some sand and I ended up dying a couple of times just doing that even in classic just just because I'm not like paying attention so you know, even though I'm dying, I, I still think I get to say that it's it's easy because the difficulty doesn't really feel like that much higher compared to just um, the the normal difficulty of the game to me anyway. In in fact, I might even say that it's easier because you get the two extra accessory slots, which are incredibly valuable for mobility and stuff. So. You know, the boss fights might take longer, but just getting around and everything just feels so much better. Like, I, I wouldn't want to play in Classic, honestly. I only did it because I had to go kill the Wall of Flash, and I was like, I don't know. I'm not quite geared up enough to just instantly destroy the, uh... Uh, Master Mode ho Wall of Flesh. So I was like, I don't know, I'll just... I'll just do Classic. Like, I would have killed the Wall of Flesh in Master Mode. I, I, I just felt like it would take longer, so I was like, I don't know, whatever, I don't care. I just need the Pearl Sand. Um, anyway. Okay. I, uh... I still die, so I, I, it, it, it just doesn't feel like... Much harder. So I farmed up a whole bunch of, uh, of of gear and potions and everything that I need to, to start working on finishing the sort of like main game. Although I'm still going to be playing in this world after, just because I want to, to make a bunch of farms and like kind of get everything working. I have a lot of fun with that. It's not necessarily about the progression. It's it's about uh, for me something other than the progression. It's about the building and the creative aspects of it. Um in a survival kind of thing. I play it more like Minecraft than uh, than Terraria, <laughs> I guess. Um, I'll probably make a new character though. Same world, although well, I'll probably make a new character with a new world and then uh, just use the same world for uh, like use resources and stuff. Like I don't want to start over, you know, but I might make a new character just to try out uh, what the progression kind of feels like when you're playing as uh, as mage or something, just just for funsies, right? But the the world that I'm in is is the main one. It would just kind of be going through the the ropes. I'd, I'd get accessories for myself and, and all that in from my main world, and I'd use the fish farm and the potions and everything because I just I don't want to do all that again, you know. Oh uh, yeah. It's not what I find fun. But anyway, uh, you know, this is my world and I'm going to be on it for, for quite some time. Won't necessarily be on this character. I, might, again, might make new characters. But the world itself is going to be around for for some time. As I uh, kind of terraform the entire landscape and just work on improving my own personal ability to, to build in Terraria. I have a lot of problems with, with making things look nice in Terraria. In Minecraft, I, I do great. You guys are in for a treat when... Uh, when the Minecraft series goes live, whenever that happens, I don't know. It, it like I have a time limit. Just to be clear, I have a time limit because I'm responsible for other people right now. I have to get the the multiplayer server running. I just I'm having I'm having motivational problems, <laughs> to say the least. Uh. Anyway. When, when, when that ends up happening, you guys are in for a treat, because I'm a good Minecraft builder. I have I have a good eye for, for the Minecraft stuff, I, I like to, to think anyway. In Terraria, though? Just get out of here. It's like, I can't do it. I just, like, for some reason, I just, I, I, I can't, like, see what I want to do and then build it, you know? Like, I, 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 can't, I can't even imagine, like, I, there's just too much stuff, you know? I'm, 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 I, I understand the concept of what I want to do, okay? I want to build a house, I need the supports, I need the this, I need the that, I need the foundation, I need uh, some furniture and some decorations and, and all of this, and I'm like, okay, where do I start? Like, what's the floor? You know? It, dynasty wood painted white? Gray bricks painted green? Like, there, 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 there's like, 
probably literally millions of options for for different like paint color and um, and uh, block combination like because you can paint it with so many different colors and then there's so many different blocks it's like you know there's, there's probably millions of different combinations and it just gets overwhelming for me Money, whereas in Minecraft I'm like okay I need a brown block what, what, what blocks are brown? <laughs> you got your woods, you got your dirt if you want it, you got uh, like some terracotta, wool, you got concrete. It's not, oh, literally anything and paint it brown. I guess, I guess that kind of, I don't know. You know, to some people you might look at that and be like, well, doesn't that make it easier? You just pick the texture you want and paint it to the color that you want. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe, I guess. But for me, I, just, I, I have trouble visualizing it. So I want to, uh, I want to build a lot and, uh, get, and, and get better at it. Because I really like building in games. I just, I'm not good at it in Terraria. Um, yeah, I don't know. The mission is underway. Lock and load. I'm excited to, to kill the Moon Lord, finally. That's something I've never done before. I think there's... Uh, couple of things I have to do before I do that. Um, cause I've, I'm, yeah, I want to do the old one's army a little bit. I want to do... Uh, please? I want to set up a couple more farms and stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't really need to set up the farms until I kill Moonlord. Get better gear and all that. I want to get some... I don't know. I guess I can just rush Moonlord. I have the Phantasm and like Hallowed gear. I guess I could go for Shroomite, but I don't know. There's there's so much, so much stuff, you know, so much stuff. That's bullet time. So much stuff to do in, uh, in Terraria. I like. I wanna. I'm not. I'm not gonna consider myself done. I might just get bored of it at some point. That's probably what'll happen. You know, I'll just get bored and I won't end up finishing all the projects that I want to get done. <laughs> this is probably what will happen. Uh, but... Just you die, please. Um, I'm, not, I'm not considering myself done until I have made a fully automatic AFK farm for every resource that can be farmed AFK. And uh, not all of those farms have been made yet, so I'm going to have to kind of come up with designs myself, which I think is really, really cool. I'm coming up with some really, really cool designs so far, actually. I'm I'm definitely going to make some YouTube videos on guides on how to make uh, Terraria farms, because I feel like I'm doing some stuff that, that pretty much nobody else that I've seen is doing. Uh, a lot of, like... Just, just some, some, some really cool biome manipulation and like manipulating the spawn mechanics and stuff to, to kind of get like um, a uh, a biome or a specific mob farmed or whatever you want without having to move much, you know. So like a one size fits all kind of farm is kind of what I'm working on at the moment. Um, well, I'm working on that, and I'm also working on a surface hallow farm and an arena combination. I like putting my arena in the hallow. It's not near spawn, so I'll have to have, like, a different arena for the spawn. Um, I don't know. I've kind of already cleared out the space for it. I might go into T-Edit and move the world spawn to where I have my hallow spot, because I want the, um, the invasions to happen there. But invasions only happen at the true world spawn. They don't happen where you are as a character. They they, they they happen, or like some invasions anyway. Some invasions happen. Actually, I think all invasions happen at true world spawn, but some events can be triggered anywhere. Um, I think is how it goes. It's like a Martian invasion is, is true world spawn. Goblin invasion. Pirate invasion. And then you have the, you know, solar events. Or the solar, you know, whatever. Which isn't an invasion, it can be anywhere. It's just a, a thing that's happening in the world. What are we here, boys and girls? I guess. Come 
But I want to get it. I want to get it uh, automatically farmed. I just I like building like a house at spawn, and then you have to worry about stuff existing as well, and it's a little bit annoying, honestly, I guess. But I don't know. It's, it's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I might, I might move it, uh, cause I gotta, I guess I can show you here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you briefly. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing anyway. Um, this is like the big old hollow thing that I have hollowed out. So I, uh, world spawn is right here. And then this is the hollow area. No invasions over here are gonna be over here. That's just too much distance. So I might just move that over here instead. Maybe. It would be uh, it'd be nice to have it, because uh, that, that's going to have all of the stuff necessary for, for killing them automatically. I could just make another one near spawn. You don't have to have them that big. That's that's excessively large, because it's also my end game like boss fighting arena and event kind of thing and stuff. I just like having a big arena. I don't actually use it. <laughs> I... I uh, the arena's not done, right? Like, clearly, it's just a big hole. It, it has hardly been built at all. And I'm, uh, already finished all the bosses. I don't have a Plantera arena or anything. I just, I don't, generally speaking, use arenas for fighting bosses. You know? You, you have horizontal space already, just in the world. Vertical space is handled via wings. You know, an in, in arena isn't really necessary. It does make it easier, but I don't know. I just I don't find master mode that hard anyway. So it's you know. I had uh, I had fun killing Duke Fishron though. He, uh, he he's the what I would consider to be the easiest hard mode boss, which a lot of people go like, "You what, mate?" But I, I do think that he's the easiest uh, hard mode boss. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with him, but for, for me, I just... I, I never really have trouble with him. I just, I spawn him, I fly around in circles, he can't hit you, and then he dies. That's that's about it. You know, it's, it's extremely simple. And... Uh, I, uh... No, 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 no. But today, when I was trying to kill Duke Fishron, I had, I had like eight deaths to him or something like that before I finally killed him. It was just like death after death after death. I was like tilted as heck, man. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it. It was, uh, it was a disaster. Total disaster. It was terrible. Just, just absolutely as bad as it gets. Then I got the kill, and then after that, it was just like, oh yeah, no, all of the confidence has been restored, and everything was uh, back to normal. And then I wasn't getting hit by Duke Fishrun anymore, because like, why would you get hit by him? You just fly in circles, and he can't hit you. You have to get the circle size just right, but but you just you just fly in circles. That's it. Um. So, you know. I got it down and then I was uh, good. Knocked him out nice and easy. Got the wings, got the phantasm. I haven't got all the drops from him, so I'll have to go back and kill him some more, but I want to make a uh, farm for the truffle worms, which you use to spawn him first. He's a big old fish. You use uh, truffle worms to fish as bait, and then he bites on him, and then comes up and dies to you as you fly in circles. But uh, they're, they're a little bit tricky, or not tricky, but just annoying to farm if you don't have a, like, proper thing built for them, in my opinion, anyway. Or at least in mass, you know? Like, I, I want to be killing, like, you know, 10, 20, 30 of them. 40, 50, you know? Like, if you just want to kill, like, 5 or 6, it's really not that bad. But if you want to kill, like, a lot of them, then, then it, it's, it can take a good, you know, couple of hours of... Uh, of farming to, 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 to get him, and it's like, I don't know, you could have just 
built a farm for him in that time, and then been done with it. But a lot of a lot of people don't uh, don't spend that much time in in one world, you know. A lot of a lot of people make a world and then they're in it for you know 10, 20 hours, maybe 30 hours, and then they're done. That's it. You know, on to the next world. Make a new character, make a new world, and play through this one now. You know, I just I don't I don't personally see the replayability in it so much as as a sort of you know frequent thing. I can't get behind that personally. To me, it's kind of like playing uh, playing Minecraft just to beat the Ender Dragon. Which actually, now that I now that I talk about it, now that I mention it, uh, one of my acquaintances who is of the like you know, beat the Moon Lord, finish, and then you know start a new kind of thing. You know, one of my acquaintances who is that kind of person, they do do that too in Minecraft. They make a world, go do everything, fight, kill the Elder, the Ender Dragon, kill the Wither, and then they're like, well, you know, I'm done. That's it, you know. Some some people just play for the uh, for the progression, and then once there's no more progression, you know, sort of like mechanically built in, um, there's no more fun, which is fair. That's fair. You're allowed to do like what you want. You know, you're allowed to like. Uh, Playing Terraria however you want to play it. I like playing it the way I like to play it. Which is apparently very unusual, I find. Most people don't do it the way that I do. I'm not saying nobody does. You know, the whole, like, DAE this, the answer is always yes. You know, you're, ne you're never really unique, no matter what your mom says to you. Too many people out there for, for any individual thoughts to... Have never been had before, really. Well, I don't know. You, you can probably have thoughts that have never been had, but you can't have, like, preferences, really. You know, you can't be like, I don't know, does anybody else like listening to music on the bus? Yes. The, an the answer is yes. No matter what your question is, it's, it's always yes. So, I'm sure there are other people out there who, who feel the same way as I do about Terraria and play on the same world for a while. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was, like, a, a fairly even split. But uh, anecdotally, from from what I've seen, most people tend to play it as a, as an RPG first, I'm feeling generous. with some creative elements along the way. Not necessarily creative first, with some RPG elements along the way. But who knows? I've never done a case study. <laughs> I've never done a, you know anything like that on it. So I got I got no data, just uh, just anecdotes. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.